Good morning. Today is Monday and we are starting a new psalm and it's Psalm 30. Let's start with a prayer. Father God, as I draw near to you, would you draw near to me? Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. May I know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, and follow thee more nearly, day by day. Amen. This is the reading that we're looking at this morning. It's Psalm 30, verses 1 and 2. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and didn't let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. We don't know what had been wrong with David, but he had been in the depths. That's what it says. It's likely that his actions had cut him off from God and he had been, as we might say, in the depths of despair. The word that jumped out at me in the second verse was that he had been healed, not cured, not made to feel better. A word David might have been more likely to use about a war wound from one of his battles. Yet here it seems likely to have been his spirit that was wounded and his spirit that was healed. Even today, about 3,000 years after that was written, we still have signs put up to remind us, intelligent modern people, that not all illnesses are visible. And yet David knew all those years ago that a wounded spirit was just as real as a wounded body, that mental and physical illnesses are as real as each other. And he knew, as we can know, that God could, did, and still can heal us. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for being close to us, even when we're in the depths. And I pray, Father, for you to lift out those people we know who are suffering from any sort of illness but particularly this morning lord we pray for people we know for friends and family who are suffering from any sort of mental illness father be close to them lift them out of the depths and this morning I pray that you will enable me to live this day to the full. Help me to be true to you in every way and to give myself away to others. Help me to be kind to everyone I meet. Help me to love the lost in all I do and say. Amen. Let's finish with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.